Hey gang, it's Juan with LoseItWithJuan.com and I'm here today with a new emergency ration that I found for my 72 hour kit. It's called the Daytrix DX2400F emergency ration. And the whole point of this thing is it's extremely high calorie content in the smallest package possible. This pack right here is 2400 calories worth and according to the instructions, it says eat one bar every six hours per person, eat in small pieces. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, there's 24 bars, right? No, I can't count. Yeah, wait, two, four, six. We'll find out when we cut into it how many bars there are. But each bar is 200 calories, and you eat six of these a day, I guess, to get 1,200 calories worth of food in your system. The ingredients are, over here, wheat flour, vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt. It's designed to be eaten without water, doesn't make you thirsty, and I went on the company's website and they specified that it's peanut free, so you don't have to worry about allergies there. So we're going to cut into this and see what it's like. This cost me $8 at my local um, army supply store. And I've seen it online on Amazon for as low as $6 a pack if you order uh, like 12 packs. So if this is something, I'm just trying it out and see if I like it. I'm spending 8 bucks to see how it goes. Uh, it's good for 5 years in carton. Make sure that if you do buy one, it is, you see how that is really tightly packed like the old coffee bricks of coffee you can get at the store. That is vacuum packed. That's what keeps it fresh. This was manufactured in July of last year. It's good for five years, so I got four more years use on it. That's not going to happen. We're going to try it today. Uh, as far as emergency rations go, it feels like it weighs maybe a pound and a half, two pounds, and it's very small, so you could easily shove this in a backpack and be good for 48 out of your 72 hours. I don't know if you'd be very happy. That's what we're going to find out today about taste-wise, so I'm just going to get right into it. You can rip this open and make a mess of it. I'm going to use scissors, cut it like this. We're breaking the seal on the vacuum. It smells like coconut. Cut down into it so you can see what it looks like. And what we have here, oh, look at that. These are. 12 individually shrink wrapped bars. So not only are they vacuum packed inside this thing, they're actually shrink wrapped inside this. So once you do bust it open, it's fairly, uh, doesn't get in the way. It's fairly protected. So it would survive over the course of two days. Uh, it is shrink wrapped, so we'll see how easy it is to get into, assuming you don't have a pair of scissors handy uh, away from your house. Like I said, it smells heavily of coconut, so that's cool. It's not really that easy to get into. I've, I've never been good with shrink wrap. So we'll just bust it right here with the scissors. Oh, so yeah, it's starting to fall apart already. Hmm, it's crumbly. Hmm, wow, it's everywhere. Okay, so I don't know about this one here, but... It tastes like a sugar cookie. It's uh, sweet, but it's not that sickeningly sweet taste that you'd run across. Let's see. It's crumbling as I touch it, so I don't know if it will be very efficient in an emergency pack type situation here. And it's kind of hard to get open. I would suspect if I had my handy dandy Wartech all purpose knife, you look at it. You get in this, it's all very crumbly. Hmm. I said you could eat it without water, but I really like a drink right now. It is, um, it's very dense, but it actually tastes pretty decent. And if I was, say, on a life raft, my boat had just sunk, and it was day two, and this is what I had, I think I'd be very happy. Uh, if I was out in the wilderness, 
running from looters or whatever, and I had no access to fire, so I couldn't make anything else, I might be really happy. Okay. You know, after I got that first bike down, you can see what a mess it made, but on the other hand, that's hard to get down without water. But after I finished eating it, I really didn't need any water again, so it is keeping to its truth about that. This also comes in 3,600 calorie packs. If you want to get your 1,800 calories a day in, which for a guy who weighs, say, 200 pounds, between 180 and 200 pounds, about 1,800 calories is keep your weight going type survival mode. At 1,200 calories a day, you're really not doing a lot of exercise. You're just kind of existing. So, yeah, if you were stuck in a life raft, this would be what you would need to get through a day. So, do I recommend it? Yeah, uh, this is $4 a day for food. Could I do better? Probably. But it does come in very tightly packed things. I'm kind of wondering what it would do if I took it and mashed it up with a little water and made like a paste out of it. But that might be for another video. I'll have to play with that and get back to you on it. Overall, I would say this is probably going to be a, a good deal for extreme emergency situations. In your car, if you're in, you drive through mountainous terrain, shove one of these in your car. That way if it crashes, you can get stuck for a couple of days. You have something to eat. But otherwise, I'd probably choose other options if, uh, if I had the space to store. Overall, I'll give it a B. So, this is one. Keep tuned. Keep, uh, stay tuned for other videos to come. If you like them, like them, share them, subscribe. I need subscribers so I can get you more videos. So, go to my website, loseitwithwan.com for more information. And I'll talk to you later.